Hail and much adventures. Welcome to Starfield. It's me, the Spot King. So, today we got this bro with level 10. And I will show you top 5 builds for early game when you're around level 10, so you can have a lot of fun and make really viable and strong builds. Let's go! So, first one will be Stealth Enjoyer. If you like going stealthy, ambush your enemies and make high damage when you stealth because Stealth will add damage modifier to your damage output. Then this build is for you. For background, you need to pick Cyber Runner. You will get the stealth, surfed, and security skills from the start of the game. So you got a lot of spare skill points at level 10. And you can level up these main skills while getting other skills too. Let's go from first category, physical. What you want here? Of of course, you will get the stealth, and this basically adds stealth meter to you. So you see, are you stealthy or not? You are more difficult to detect when sneaking. And if you got suppressor on your weapons and you want to have suppressor, when you play in the sneaky style, you will have extra 5% damage from sneak attacks. So to level up the skill, you need to perform sneak attacks, and from the start of the game, you can basically do the 10 attacks and level up this skill, of course. So what other skills you want to have in physical category? First one I recommend to have fitness. While not giving any direct uh, power to a character, you will have a lot more oxygen to work with. And when you're going stealthy, most of the time you're not using this oxygen. But when enemies detect you, you really like to run away as far as possible and then hide again. So that's where it gets useful. And next up, in physical, we want to get wellness. Again, when you're sneaking up and you are not in the open, you're in the buildings, you will be in very close combat with enemies. And you need to be able to get some damage. So not only inflict, but to take. And wellness is nice start, you will get your maximum health increased, so basic skill, really useful, easy to level up to. And let's go to next category, social. In social you will get theft from the start, you can pickpocket your targets. So this nice addition to stealth, because you are stealthy, you're going from behind, you can pickpocket your targets, so you can level up this at the same time as this, basically. And next to skills in social that you want to have is commerce, of course. Commerce is very nice, uh, every time you sell something or buy something, you will get discount when you level up the skill. So you will sell for more, buy for less, very nice. And while you're stealing items with pickpocketing skill, you're selling these items to the traders, that's very cool stuff. And another one is scavenging. Scavenging is nice too, again, you're going in sneaky, most of the time you will sneak in some rooms, you will open some chests, so why not to level this stuff up, get more credits, more armor, basically just to improve loot in the boxes. You don't need a lot of levels in this stuff. So when you're leveling this style, basically focus on stealth, focus on theft maybe if you're using this. But uh, social, mostly you will level commerce just to get more money, more gear. Next up, combat. In combat, I recommend sticking with ballistics. So basically go with ballistics. Uh, it will give you additional damage to your ballistic weapons. It's easy to find ballistic weapons with silencers, suppressors, other stuff. So you can be stealthy guy. And it's more viable than just go for pistol certification, for example. If you go straight to the pistol, you can have pistol with uh, suppressor. But again, maybe you find good rifle with suppressor. So why not to use a rifle instead? and ballistic will work just as nice for every weapon. Science. Science you can just skip if you're going for the stealthy build. Uh, good skill is medicine, but again, I'm making builds for level 10, around level 10, so we're not picking this medicine. And last category, tech. You got the security, and yeah, you want to focus on the security. You will have this ability to pick locks, and when you're picking locks, you will unlock ability to pick higher level locks. It will be easier for you. So that's nice skill to have and that's our final build so fitness stealth wellness commerce scavenging theft ballistics nothing or medicine and security so at level 10 you will get four spare skill points at this time and most of the time you will spend them on stealth on wellness on commerce and ballistics or security 
So next build is Combat Enjoyer. Boba Fett build, call it wherever you like. So for our background we're going with Soldier. Soldier will give us fitness, ballistics and boost pack training. So fitness will give you more oxygen when you're running and with this style it's more likely hit and run style. So you're not sneaking up, you're just running around, killing everyone, destroying everyone, flying on your boost pack, something like that. So other two physical skills I recommend to pick in with this build, of course wellness because you will be hit and running a lot so you need this ability to have more health points, that's nice skill to have. And another one is weight lifting. So again, you're running around too much, you want to be able to pick some stuff on the fly and not be restricted by your capacity. For social skills, we go with scavenging, again to increase uh, loot in our containers that we will find. So basically we're improving every container when we get in at least one level in the skill. We get an extra credits, we get an extra armor when we level up. Very nice skill to have in this style. And of course commerce, just to be able to sell all the stuff you're carrying. You carry lots of stuff with weight lifting, so you can sell a lot of stuff, you get a lot of money. That's very nice starting point. Next up we're going to combat. And from the start you will get these ballistics. So basically you're leveling up ballistics. And now you're thinking... And then you're thinking what you want to have. So maybe you want to have a rifle certification. After you level up ballistics, maybe you are in love with pistols. Go with pistol certification. Maybe you decide you want to have another ways. Another ways to destroy your enemies and you go into particle beams, in anticipation, something like this. But we're talking about early game builds, so you won't be able to have level 4 ballistics in early game. That's why we're focusing on first category. Next up is science. We don't need any science with this style. Maybe medicine. Medicine is nice pick just to improve your trauma packs, med packs, emergency kits. They will restore more health, so they will restore it faster. You will use them a lot in the battles, especially on harder difficulties. And last one, we get from the start boost pack training. So we can use boost packs, so we can be like Boba Fett in the fight. And security, just nice overall skill. You will be able to open doors, open some chests. So that's the build. So next up, we got Space Samurai build. You will have Ronin background. Ronin will give you stealth, scavenging, and dueling. So what is this build all about? This build is all about sneaking up behind your targets, killing first targets with stealthy attacks with your melee weapon, and then going into melee combat. And dealing with your enemies with your sword, knife, axe, or whatever melee weapon you got. So for this style again, we will be running a lot. That's why fitness is nice pick. You want to pick fitness, because you want to run a lot in the battles, you playing with melee weapon after all. So when you playing with ranged weapons, you can stand behind the boxes, but with melee weapons, you want to run into your targets. You want to have ability to run a lot. That's why you want to have wellness. Again, when you're running into your targets, you will be inflicted with a lot of damage. That's why you want to be able to take some damage. So wellness is nice way to start. And you will get this fitness, stealth and wellness. So you can sneak up, you can run onto targets, take some damage. And what you do with your social skills. With social skills you got this scavenging from the start, so you will get more loot from the containers. Very nice way to start the game. But another skill I recommend here is persuasion. Sometimes you're just in some situations where you don't want to use your sword. So if you're the type of guy who wants to talk your way out sometime in some situations or just you know persuade your enemies tell that you like okay and then come nearby so you close your distance and like real samurai kill them from the melee range that's the way to go so when you're in like dangerous situations just persuade enemies come nearby they will think you're friendly and you just kill them. So go lie <laughs> like real samurai. In combat you will have this duel link. You don't need anything else. You will use your melee weapon. So basically just level up this duel link and that's it. In science, again, you want to have this medicine. Yeah, it's very nice combat stuff to have. When you're running around at your enemies, you want to be able to heal yourself because you're taking a lot of damage. 
And last but not least, tech again security, just overall good skill for this build. But if you want to be extra spicy, space samurai, because we like not normal samurai, we're space samurai, get boost pack training. So you're able to jump a lot higher and use this boost pack. That's very cool, fun stuff to use. And I recommend sticking with that type of build. So our next build is Brawler. For Brawler, you want to have bouncer background and you will get this boxing, fitness and medicine skills from this background. So how to build this boxer brawler build? So for this one, you start with boxing. When you're killing enemies with unarmed attack, you're leveling up this skill and you're starting to do more damage using less oxygen when you're doing power attacks so that's like cool way to build and you got it from beginning fitness again you're running around that's nice to have and next up you want to have you want to be able to take a lot of damage when you are running without weapons so wellness wellness is way to go of course but especially for this build we're not focusing only on first row because we got three skills already here and we got skills that we will level up anyway boxing we will level up wellness anyway we want to have this pain tolerance as fast as possible with this build so it's second row most of the time it's uh, like some skills that's too build specific so when you're building like later game builds that's come in handy but for this build you need this pain tolerance all physical damage reduced by some percent so that's great skill to have and you want to level up it as fast as possible next up we're going to social and i recommend to pick commerce this is just overall nice skill to have to have more money to sell for more buy for less and persuasion again it's nice to have because you're going with your bare knuckle you don't have weapons with this style and sometimes you're in a situation when you need to close distance to your enemies so they will talk with you from the distance you will persuade them they will think you're a friendly guy you come nearby and you finish them with your knuckles combat you don't need any combat skills you're going with your bare arms so don't pick any combat or if you want to pick any just go with maybe pistol certification just for this build if you're using weapons sometime you know just from time to time to take down some distance targets you can have this pistol certification it will do just more damage than than if you picked ballistics ballistics adds uh, like 30 percent to your ballistic weapons pistol certification at third rank will do 50% more damage so it's just like a little bit better when you're not going into combat skill tree for science you got this medicine that's everything you need over here when you're playing with bare fists and security security nice to have just to be able to pick some locks from on the doors on the chests whatever and that's our build and next up we got some builds for you guys who like playing this as space saga so you're not going into a lot of combats instead you're like flying your ship having fun in the space so next build is space pirate you want to pick long hauler background and this will give you weight lifting ballistic weapon systems and targeting control systems so that's basically all you need actually for this build but let's finish it up so weightlifting give you ability to carry more capacity on you and you will need it next up you want to pick commerce that's like most important skill for you for space pirate build because you will buy for less sell for more very cool stuff and you will have a lot of items to buy and sell because you got this weight lifting stuff next we skip basically every category if you want you can have some ballistic stuff just some don't have don't need to have too much so categories that we are focusing on is tech over here so what do you want to have you want to have piloting additionally you want to be able to utilize ship thrusters increase ship turning rate even unlock ability to pilot more cooler ships stuff like that so that's nice way to have and as you can see to level up the stuff you need to destroy five ships so that's space pirate style you're basically going out into the space and destroying ships you can find enemy ships you can be like bad guy yourself and find like friendly ships that will be enemy ships for you 
So targeting control systems, it unlocks you ability to target additional systems of the ships. So now you can target like engines directly and you can destroy ships. So they are not destroyed, but they stand in the, in the place and you can onboard these ships. Very cool stuff to have. Ballistics weapon systems, basically increasing power of weapons from your ship. Very cool stuff. And because of that, you will level up this skill tree of tech very quickly. So you want to invest into second row. Energy weapon systems will give you improved power on your energy weapons. And when you're flying any ships, you want to basically use all weapons possible. So energy weapon systems is nice to have. Engine systems, you want to have more speed. So when you're flying a lot faster than enemy ships, it's easier to come from behind, from the angle, attack them so they can't attack you. Very cool stuff. And shield systems, of course. Shield systems is must have, so you can be able to take more damage when you're on the ship and engage into more fights or more like harder fights. And last but not least, you can improve your payload so you can improve increase your cargo capacity on the ship so you carry more stuff on your ship more resource and more stolen stuff so you can basically go and sell this stuff so that's my top five early game builds for starfield i hope you enjoy them you will have some fun playing them and see other cool videos on the screen right now see you in the next videos guys